guys, it's Rhiannon from RMH Art. Thank you so much for tuning in to another speed painting. I really hope you like this piece. I had so much fun again doing this piece. Um, so I didn't upload last week and there's a big reason for that. So I had a meeting on Wednesday about a huge uh, potential um, art opportunity. Uh, it's about doing uh, large scale mural works in a new proposed development. So it's, I don't know if I'm gonna get it, I'm not sure. But so today I thought I would talk about how to prepare for like an art meeting or like a potential job when you're going to meet someone and how to present yourself and you know maybe some tips and tricks about what you should think about what you should do. So first off I know you'll be super nervous when you <laughs> at the thought of going to a big meeting especially if this isn't something that you do very often. I myself uh, yeah this is like the biggest opportunity that I've ever been approached with so uh, I was extremely nervous but I think um, the first step is to remember that you don't want to look too over keen or uh, too nervous or you don't want to seem that this job is out of your league um, and that was something that I went into this meeting with um, was I had the mindset of yep I can do this uh, I've done this before which I haven't but um, I've done this before and you know it's 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 not going to be a problem which I know I definitely can do it but um, yeah so going in there with the mindset of being professional and that you know what you're doing and you know what you're talking about um, is definitely essential because you've got to remember when you're going to like a, a big meeting or something like that about a big opportunity especially if it's for commercial work which is what um, this meeting was about is that they're business people they want to um, you know, they want to hear that you're prepared. They want to know that you've thought about it. They want to know um, that you can definitely do the job. And you've got to remember that, you know, they might be interviewing multiple artists um, for the same job. So you need to make sure that you stand out and that you know your stuff and that you are professional and that they can see that um, you're going to be able to complete the job. What I did was I made sure that I took a portfolio. So um, a small portfolio you know, in a nice folder with uh, some of my works, which I thought uh, would suit what they're looking for. Obviously the works that they would commission me to do would be new works, but so that they can see and get an idea of my art and uh, see that, you know, my artwork can stand by itself and that uh, hopefully they, it is something that they would want to commission uh, me to do. And so I brought my portfolio, the development manager, I even looked up previous jobs that he'd done, uh, things that, you know, he'd worked on so that I had a more of an understanding about him and what he was about and where he was trying to um, take the job and, you know, what was important to him so that I knew that I could be talking at the same uh, level that, that he was. It's a proposed development for a shopping centre, so I looked up, you know, why artworks and that are so important for, you know, shopping centres. So, like, you know, it, the big thing is that, you know, uh, with the internet, like shopping centers, they need to provide an experience, they need to provide a journey for the customer. So, you know, when I was speaking to him, like, I was able to say, you know, like, uh, talk about the artwork and how it's, you know, creating a journey, a story for the customer. And so it showed that, like, I knew what he was trying to do and also, um, you know, had that with, uh, in line with his vision and my and my vision of what I thought, you know, we could do with with the walls. So I think that's definitely uh, good as well. And it shows that you're prepared and that you've really thought about it. You're not just turned up and then just sort of, you know, willy nilly it uh, so that you've given us some thought and, you know, you're serious about, you know, the job that they're potentially um, going to give you. Another thing um, that I did was uh, I looked up other artwork, like other murals and that sort of thing in shopping centres and what they've sort of done. I looked up, so they sent me a few documents, the sizes and everything like that. Uh, I printed it out, the plans and everything like that in A3, so, sorry, A2, so it was, you know, in a big format and then put it in a sleeve so I could see the measurements and that exactly. Uh, I looked at, you know, what would be uh, involved. So they asked me for a quote uh, when I got there and I said to them, well, you know, like I can't give you a quote today because obviously I need to know more. You know, um, the quote uh, of the job and the time would be dependent on, you know, a few factors such as, you know, uh, would you want any graffiti coding? Are you guys providing scaffolding or a cherry picker? You know, are you, um, am I covered by your insurance or, or like do I need my own insurance? Uh, things like that. And so it shows that, um, again, that I have, I'm prepared and I've thought about it. While I personally haven't done a large mural like this, um, it does show that um, I do bring experience to the table and that, you know, it's not gonna fall apart when I start doing it. So I think that's really important as well. Um, 
sorry uh, if you guys don't know i'm six months pregnant so <laughs> i run out of breath really easy um yeah so i think yeah really good to be professional and just remember to breathe like when i get super nervous like i mumble well not mumble but jumble my words together and like i want to say one thing but something else comes out so and something that i had to really remind myself uh when i was meeting with them was to breathe and to just relax <laughs> just relax um at the end of the day like you've got no control over whether or not they're going to hire you that's totally up to them and their decision so all you can do is the best you can do uh, at the meeting and the preparation beforehand and uh, show up and um, you know just be yourself obviously very professional <laughs> and um, and hope that they like what they see like what they hear and everything like that so the reason I'm doing these tips is because like I uh, would have loved to have uh, seen a video like this before I went to the meeting and yeah, I think it would have really helped a lot. Um, obviously, you know, I, went, I did my research to know what, what I needed to know for the meeting and how to present myself and that sort of thing. Obviously dress um, professionally as well, like um, that's, you don't want to rock up and you know, baggy tracky pants and PJs or something like that. Um, you want to be taken seriously as you know it's a big job so yeah i hope uh these guys uh, the, these guys i hope these tips have sort of helped you in, in some way shape or form um if you guys uh, follow my channel or uh if you like this video um leave a comment below or subscribe or i'd love to to know more about what you guys are up to uh i really hope that you guys are making art and yeah loving life um, yeah, and I shall, if you guys follow my channel, I shall definitely keep you updated on what the go is uh, with this maybe job. Um, so I was supposed to hear back from them at the end of the month and it hasn't even been a week and I've heard back from them and now they want um, concept sketches and uh, a quote and everything like that. So I'm um, taking that as a good sign. Um, I would seriously kill for this job. It would be amazing. I think it would be honestly something that opens a lot, a lot of opportunities up um, for future work, uh, in, yeah, for future artwork. So yeah, I'm really excited. I try not to get ahead of myself, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'm just really excited. But again, they're either gonna hire you or, or they're not, so yes. But anyway, so yeah, love to know what you guys are up to. Uh, sorry for not posting last week, but yeah, I had a lot of stuff going on and uh, pregnancy had me feeling extremely drained and exhausted uh, over the last few days of last week. So anyway, but his video for today and yeah i should hopefully have another one up on friday and yeah if you like this video leave a like because it really supports my itty bitty small channel and yeah i shall see you guys in the next video bye so fun little fact this job actually came around uh through uh, my social media so they approached me via email after seeing or someone showed them my artwork uh my facebook page so yeah social media definitely something to it <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!